Hello Hunter, this is the first part of my Palico Meta series. I intended to just make a video but is taking me forever. I'm sorry for it. This first video will be dedicated to how to get the best of your NPC army. Because strength in numbers, arisen. Hunter. First huge hint is that you should always use the tool to summon another calico. You can get this tool very early at Iceborn. As soon you can do expeditions on Horfrost you can befriend the Boa Boa. And after a questline finishing in the hunt of a tempered Beotobus. You will get their help and this tool to summon more companions. The companions can belong to a tribe you have already befriended or a palico. The palicos can be super strong since they are from your guild card list. So they can be wielding the best equipment, use iceborne powers and be level 50. They are exactly as strong as your own palico. Most of a palico damage is determined by its base stats. With the weapon only adding a little more of damage over it. The Palico Rally skill works by raising their attack at 25%. The Pluraris Correct Sense also boosts the same way the NPC's friends. So the difference between the stats of the weapon barely do a difference. The important stuff of a Palico weapon is their affinity, and not in the way you think. And if they can apply a status. Next video is oriented to compare the different weapons and setups. And there is a lot of it between critical or status. Using Palico Rally or not. The weapons I use now are Bagels and Guild Book. The first provides damage, the second sleep status. Sleep is my preferred status for a Palico. I use it for two different purposes depending situation. The first is that works the same than paralysis. Look here. Meanwhile the monster falls asleep, wakes up again in duty and rage animation. Pass through 15 whole seconds where I can attack and the monster will not fight back. 15 seconds is twice the double than a paralysis duration. And unlike paralysis, if triggers when I'm not anywhere close. I can take it easy or use some bombs for an explosive wake up. It is near impossible to waste a sleep status. The second use I do use the free time to sharp up and rebuff if necessary. As a gunlancer I love to reply WSB where exactly I want to also resetting the short time. A monster stays asleep for 40 seconds. Enough for a lot of stuff. Another reason against paralysis is that a gyros can do that. You always get a gyros while playing on the Rotten Valley. For the guiding lands, you either get lucky or go to the Rotten Zone for one. I would not waste that many time unless I'm going to fight something there. About tools to use, I will key it simple. The two best tools to use are still Wildspire and Neolotov. Wildspire was my favorite tool in the past on I saw the ridiculous damage it dealt. If you don't know, negative affinity weapons are bugged on Palicos. They make attacks do a 20% more damage all the time. Working like having 100% affinity. The bug is still here as you see a red crit line each time an attack connects with the shield. The problem now is that the new power it got doesn't contribute to damage. The Stooger taunt is weak, like having another player who don't attacks. And vanish quickly. But while it's bad for melee is very useful for ranged weapons. Since they also are far from the monster and benefit if they stand behind so the monster still face them. 
And then there is the Palico DPS tool by Excellence. The Mialatov Cocktail. A cat with this is the spirit animal of a gunlancer. The new attack is the Meow Kano. The cat pulls out some fireworks and goes berserk. The best thing of this attack is that unlike Wrath or Mialatov Assault, the cat can't get interrupted by attacks. So if you can make the monster stand there the damage will rack up quickly. The hits can do as much as 90 damage for each. The damage are hit zone based and also wounds boosted. The normal is getting about 30 damage per hit. The other change is that Mialatop Assault got buffed. And now the cat will throw up to 3 bombs one after other. The bombs do high attack, from 120 to 150 depending your setup. Unlike the fireworks, the Mialatop attack also benefits from the negative Affinity bug. And have a high status rashes. Using the Bizzle's hammer I have got the cat to hit for 200 damage. 200 from the Mialatop and 300 from the Blast. So now, Mialatop have 3 good attack skills and the cat will promptly use them on the wheel. This makes Mialatop my favorite Palico skill and where I believe you can get the maximum benefit. This is all for this video. In the next I will break down the differences between weapons. And what benefit you get from Palico Rally. See you in the hunt.